California. We are here for our photo shoot, like a fitness photo shoot in LA. I can't believe I have this opportunity. And you're probably like, oh, with who, with who? Free people movement. And if you have ever come to one of my hike days, that is our sponsor for the hike day. And I'll also be hosting a free people movement run day. How insane, I know. I need to get ready. We're supposed to meet downstairs and set like in 15, 20 minutes and I need to get dressed. However, I wanted to give you guys a nugget before we like move on. I took the silver line from like Metro Center all the way. I took it and I just want to give you guys like pro tips and how it actually looks if you are thinking about traveling from DC to Dallas. My flight is leaving from Dallas airport so I decided to take the silver line to save some money because who wants to pay an $80 Uber? So I got on and transferred on at Metro Center and from Metro Center to Dallas airport I want to say it was about an hour and five minutes. So once you get off you end up at the top you can see all of Dallas Airport, which is really pretty, and then you head down the escalator, or you can take the elevator to the actual terminal. So it is a pretty long walk. I think total, it said it was gonna take 10 minutes. The total cost of Metro Center to Dallas Airport was $6. Guys, literally $6. Then I wasn't sure what it was gonna be like when you were walking through, but it's a well-lit tunnel that has a whole bunch of those moving walking pads, and you just walk all the way to the terminal that you're supposed to go to. I would say it's super cost effective, which honestly, it's amazing that we can even get to Dallas Airport from here. It does take a while. It took me about an hour and a half for my total trip, and I still had to get onto the tram. Anyway, let me know if you decide to take it and follow for more DC Rex. This is the outfit I was talking about with my Converse and my full jumpsuit. <laughs> Easy. Also, just like perfect for literally every day, but. How cute. It looks so crazy, but we are here with Free People Movement, and this is like a unfinished house that we're shooting in today and then we'll also be doing like trail running as well but like i don't want to like die but you can like see behind me is like this entire beautiful view it's so pretty also guys there's a seashell imprint on this rock wait let me show you all right look at this seashell imprint right here how wild literally how wild it's like in the rocks and we're like all the way up here look at that is the top of where we're shooting. So all the girls over there. It's literally an unfinished building, but it's less windy than it was this morning. And it's so stunning. We just did a whole bunch of like mat workouts and everything for the photo shoot. And now we are about to have some lunchy lunch. So that's gonna be fun. <gasps> Tell me why I drop my DJI pocket at least three times during this entire trip. So this is just a PSA um it's fine like it looks great it still works um uh, it just has like dents in the side of it so just like don't drop it or just put on the little wristband thing because i was dropping it left and right and i honestly gave myself a whole heart attack um so yeah This is my little meal, guys. I ordered it from Sushi Roku, which is down the street from here. I got myself a little, uh, I don't even know what this is, honestly. And this is a crab roll, which I'm really excited about. But I have never been so hungry in my life. I also got some white rice right here. We'll be about to chow down 
and watch some TV. So I'm back in my hotel room. I'm so tired. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm so, so tired. Took a shower and I just ordered some food from Sushi Roku, like I said. And it is really good. I should have ordered like four of these bad boys, these little crab rolls, but it's fine. Tomorrow is gonna be another fun day, but it's really like, we're gonna be there bright and early. 7.45 is the call time. And then we are doing a neighborhood run tomorrow and we're also shooting inside like an actual building. So that's gonna be really cool. Like today's location is cool, but I feel like tomorrow is also gonna be like another cool location. A totally different vibe than Malibu but um, more like I think residential, I'm hoping. I'll show you guys. But either way, I'm just about to watch some TV, talk to my sister and go to bed because it's been a long, long day and I've never been tired and so hungry in my life. And I just had a whole bunch of electrolytes because I honestly think I'm really tired. Good morning. I literally lost my little tiny tripod, which actually makes me upset. But anyway, today we are heading to location number two, and it's going to be in the east side neighborhood. I believe that's what she said. Um, so we're going to be shooting there today. It's going to be some neighborhood running and like in studio, like a whole like set. So that's going to be so much fun. Day one was really awesome, but I'm really like, I need to hurry up and get ready to go because I, I'm like still looking for this little tripod because I'm almost late. I only have like five minutes and I gotta go. <sighs> this is so irritating. I don't even know where I could have like put it last night because I know I had it, but now I'm like, where the heck did I put it? The reason why I'm on this shoot, which I'm not even sure if I even said this before, is because I'm an ambassador for Free People Movement. So everyone who was on the, who was like, shooting with us yesterday amazing girls mm. um definitely check out their stuff and i'll make sure i link them all in the description and everything um they all teach amazing fitness classes and i'm the run lead um so i'm the run lead and the hype lead so that's why i was there <gasps> sorry definitely something i didn't expect to happen in a way and an opportunity that like I am beyond grateful for. So it's something that also like opened like my eyes to the things that I would like to do. So who knows? I might do more fitness modeling or something. I don't know. I don't even know the first step of doing that. Oh, well, I do know the first step of doing that. So I just gotta like do it. And this lighting is like absolutely wild. Yeah, who knows? I kind of like being in front of the camera and modeling and then getting to meet amazing people so I think that might be something that is a 2023 goal of mine to put myself out there and see if I can get more jobs like this honestly it is what it is I'll probably be filming on my phone for the rest of the day anyway just because it's a little bit easier but I really like my little pocket my DJI pocket <sighs> I'll see you on set bye All the food. Nice little Irwan burrito. Yes, I do. This is the first look. Not enough in this set is so cool. I need to find my iced coffee. I requested an iced coffee, guys, and I would be the one to request a nice coffee, have a shoot. Anyway, here's Christina. Hi. <laughs> I'm in the hammock, everyone. <laughs> We're about to head over to Atwater neighborhood. I want to show you guys where we were shooting before we leave over there because everyone cleaned up, but it's so, so cute. All right, so this is the location how fucking sick is it and the lighting 
was honestly really incredible. So that's what we're doing. We're doing some running shots. And we're just like kind of like waiting a little bit, but it was so much fun. And we did like headshots, guys, in this look, little ponytail, giving really athletic, you know? I'm back in the hotel. It was like an hour and a half drive or something like that from our last location all the way to the hotel we're staying at, which is the proper hotel in Santa Monica. <laughs> but guys, I am so freaking tired. Like I could fall asleep right now, but I just ordered room service and I'm gonna get that. And they let us keep everything. And I decided to bring a carry-on and I should have brought like a gigantic suitcase because I now have like so many more hokas. I have like so many more shoes and clothes, um, <laughs> which is such an amazing thing. But at the same time, I'm like, crap, I don't think I have enough space to bring it all back. One second, my room service is here. My room service just came, guys. Let me show you what this bad boy looks like. I ended up getting some fries, a little salad, and then that is my chocolate cake, which is lit. Here is my steak. How so scrum delicious is that? Unfortunately though, I need to finish packing, so I can't even enjoy that until after I'm done because I have my flight tomorrow is at 6 a.m. Ooh, wow. My flight tomorrow is at 7 or 8. 8 o'clock. And I feel like I need to get packed and get all the way done so that I can literally, I don't know, get on my flight without having to worry. I'm going to go finish packing because i got to figure out how I'm going to put this. This bad boy into my freaking bag. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I literally know how I'm gonna do it. Morning friends, it is 6.09 and I should be on a Uber or in an Uber. I well, Loki just woke up, but I want to take my greens and then hit the road before I go. Not sponsored or anything, just I didn't feel like rushing and I'm tired. I had like the weirdest dreams last night, but I think I was just, I was just so tired that I didn't know what to do. Anyway... Today, I'm flying from here back to Dallas Airport, and when I go back, I'm gonna check to see how much an Uber is, and if an Uber is not like crazy expensive, I might do that, because I kind of want to go home. Uh, but if not, I'm probably just gonna take the silver line all the way back like I did when I got here. My grains are spilling the too many everywhere. Oops, sorry. I did not mix that all the way. If you can see, it's 6.14. So now it is time for us to go downstairs. They're finding me a driver. And we're gonna go back to DC. I feel like next time I come down here, I definitely wanna stay a little bit longer so I can like spend some time here and meet people and also try all the coffee around here because apparently it's so freaking good. And I'm sad that I'm missing it. Like, what in the world? I'm missing the one thing that I love the most. Dollar law. I'm getting coffee. 
also forgot because I've already stayed here before to do a room tour. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. This is the proper hotel. Obviously my room is like not clean at all, but you have this giganto shower and you have two amazing robes with all of these like super gigantic amenities that you can use. And it's like really awesome soaps, really awesome shampoos, conditioners, um, and just an overall great bathroom with great lighting. And then you walk out here and you have your first giant mirror which i am absolutely obsessed with and then you go over and you have this spectacular bedroom that is wonderful and it comes with its own uh, thermostat yikes and then you can like open and close all the blinds blackout cheer morning evening light on off um, you can bring food to the room. This is an Apple TV, so you can airplay. That is it. That reminds me, before I leave, I should probably, definitely walk out. I hope I went on to the right side. Ground transportation. I think so. I've never been so tired in my life, guys. That's a lie, but I feel like I'm really tired. Anyway, I'm walking to the metro right now. It's like really simple. You have to. I was at D, like. D. So then I went over to, um, took the little tram over and went to A. And now I'm entering, but there are signs right there that tell you, like, where to go to the metro. And you just walk all the way down. I also got back in. I decided I was going to get an Uber instead because i had a voucher from the shoot so i was like let me just use it but here's a little pro tip guys don't call an uber from the freaking metro stop here in dulles because it's just very hard to get out like in order to get out you have to go down the stairs and you don't go back to the terminal unless you want to go get picked up back at the terminal which is a 10 minute walk you have to like go down go to the parking garage go up to level two walk all the way down then cross the parking garage and then you can cross again, and then you'll be out in the parking lot. All right, someone's calling me, one second. Hello? One second. Hello? I'm technically not. I'm at the Washington Dallas parking garage one. It's on Aviation Drive, so where that pin is is exactly where I am. Okay, awesome, thank you so much. Bye. Yeah. In the middle of bumfuck nowhere, basically, because that's parking garage one, and across the parking garage is where the metro is it's just like not easy to get over here at all granted i guess you would never have to do this like you would technically never have to like well not never but like you should never have to do this if you don't want to um but how ridiculous i was like i was getting lost and also it was like sos on my phone and i was like no i don't want to have no signal in a parking garage with my luggage what an eventful day what an eventful day maybe i should have just taken the metro for the ease but it said an hour and 25 minutes and driving because it's also free it was 54 dollars, but i didn't pay for it was um 45 minutes so i was like damn i kind of just want to be home and also all my bags like they're so heavy i just like i can't do this right now that's my little tidbit thanks for coming to my rant I hope you enjoyed it actually also at the same time i could just end it here but it was so great for you guys to come along if you have any questions about like being an ambassador or fp movement and all those kind of things just let me know i'm happy to answer all of those things but it was a lot of fun and i'm glad you guys got to see an insight of a dream come true for me that was really cool um and i just felt like it just reminded me and i hope it reminds you guys to follow your dreams and to say yes to new opportunities because you never know what could happen you could end up being a fitness model for free people movement in malibu <laughs>
Well, if you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I post every Sunday.